I'm Hermit the Blog, and I approve of this message. How y'all doing? Alright, so uh, you all might have caught a few weeks back, uh, Ned put up the video of uh, our first impressions of this uh, XR400. And uh, I gotta say, man, the, the fanboys came out on that one. It, it might have had something to do with the fact that I had fanboy right in the title. But the XR400 dudes, they were just like, yeah, the XR400 is the best dual sport ever made, and the drz 400 has got nothing on it, of course. And the uh, DRZ guys, they, they seem to be obsessed with the pumper carb. They're like, well, if you put a pumper carb on the DRZ, then it'll be even better than the XR400. So here's what's really annoying about all that. I've ridden both bikes. You know, I've spent my own money getting both bikes and riding both bikes. Um, I haven't spent enough time on this one to really do a good comparison video, and I, and I will when I have. But I've been on the DRZ for a couple seasons, and I've been on this for a few rides now. Um, I know. I don't. I don't really uh, get people coming out and who like have bought one bike and only ridden one bike, and uh, making assumptions about whether that bike's better or not. Like, just shut the hell up. Like, we'll 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 ride both bikes for like a full season, and then we'll let you know. But it's just kind of annoying. Everybody just piping in saying, "Oh yeah, well, it's obviously a better bike." Well. How do you know? Like, if you've ridden both, and like, say that. Like, that's a good comment. Say, I've, I've owned both, I've ridden both, this is what I think. Those are good comments. People should look for those comments. The fanboy comments, they, those aren't doing anybody any good. Just just shut up. All right, so so do you want my impressions? Like, like I'm, still, I'm still learning, I'm still figuring it out, but do you want to know what I think so far? I'll tell you. It ain't the pumper carb. It's the weight. Yeah, it's the weight. Like, the, the DRZ400S has about... 40 pounds, 45 pounds more on the uh, on the DR or on the XR400. So that that's the big difference is the weight. Plus the DRZ has uh, has uh, radiators. It's it's uh, water cooled, so it's got a lot of that that extra weight up high and in the front, which is a bad place. Oh, there's dirt, dirt, dirt. I gotta get some dirt. Hang on a second. I'm gonna turn around this driveway and get back on the dirt. much better to be on the dirt. I hate pavement. All right, so so yeah, I, I think it's the weight. Um, and then the, the engine characteristics are different. Yeah, they're both 400s, but uh, the DRZ is uh, kind of more mild, whereas the XR has a lot more snap, like bottom of snap. Even without the pumper carb, it has more snap. Um, and I think that pumper carb on the XR just kind of amplifies what it's already got. Now, when I got the XR, I took it out for one ride, and you know, I made a couple videos. Y'all might have seen those. Um, that was when it was completely untuned. Like it was neglected and untuned. Um, had the stock carb on it, and uh, I liked it that day. I, I liked it more than the DRZ, which I wrote the next day. So uh, yeah, now now it's all tuned up and dialed in, and I really like it. I've also ridden Eve Rides DRZ, which has got a pumper carb and has been dialed in very nicely by Mr. Duff Factor. And uh, it's good, man. That, it's a big difference. And, uh, you know, without riding a DRZ E and an XR400 back to back, you know, I, I, I don't really know. I hate to guess. But I kind of think I'd still favor the XR. I, I'll get out there and I'll try it just so we know for sure. But that's just kind of my hunch right now. Now, I do like the DRZ better on the road. I, I like it better if I'm going to be riding a, a longer distance. Uh, it's not the seat. You can put whatever seat you want on both bikes. Um, it's not the transmission. Uh, they both got five speeds, and you can put whatever gears you want on there. Again, it's the weight. You know, when you have a heavier bike, it's more comfortable. It, it soaks things up better. Uh, the XR400, it's, it's kind of lighter and snappier. And, uh, and maybe a little bit more, um, a little bit more quicker to turn, you know, a little bit more agile. Uh, none of that's good on the pavement. So, uh, so yeah, um, XR 400 guys, uh, the DRZ is better in some cases, and DRZ guys, uh, the XR is better in some cases. And over the next summer, I'm going to kind of explore that and learn that a little bit better and make some more videos. 
All right, so so let's let's get a summary here to summarize. Um, on pavement, which is uh, not really where I care to have a dirt bike, um, I like the DRZ 400S just fine. I like the DRZ 400E just fine. I like them both more than the uh, XR400. Um, on dirt, uh, because of the weight and the balance of the bike and the uh, where the torque is on the motor, I like the XR400 better than the S for sure. I think better than the E. Pumper carb or no. Um, and if you're a fanboy, shut the hell up. All right, y'all have a good week. Over and out. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Those actions go a long way to helping me out and to encouraging me to make more videos. Links are in the description for how you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and other sites and apps. Y'all have a good week. Over and out.